Well, hello there. What is up, guys? My name is Gold Glove, and today I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk to you guys about something kind of uh, controversial. Um, I usually don't make videos like this because, um, well, to be honest, I don't like drama. I don't like causing issues. I don't like um, getting, you know, sticking my head into things that I shouldn't st be sticking my head into. That could be taken sexually. Um, because it goes in both instances. But anyway, <laughs> um, today I want to talk about, as you can tell by the title of this video, War Z. And uh, so, uh, I was talking about War Z. I made some War Z videos. I kind of let you guys know about what it was. So, uh, if you're not familiar with what uh, War Z is, uh, War Z is actually a, a zombie survival sandbox kind of game uh, that was uh, put, in de put into development um, after uh, DayZ had a lot of success, the uh, the mod for Arma 2 uh, that did really super well. People are still playing it. It's a fantastic mod. Cannot wait for the standalone. Um, so uh, the big thing is, is War Z a, a scam? And um, so I played War Z. I made some videos for it. I was excited at first. Um, I kind of supported War Z. You know, I, uh, I I kind of got over. A lot of people were, were questioning it, saying, oh, they're just making this because of the, of the success that DayZ had. They're just making this game uh, because they want people's money. They want to build all this hype. They want to get a bunch of pre-orders, and then they want to get all the money, and then they really aren't going to work on the on the game. And you know, at first, I, I was like, no, that's not true. They, they see a great idea. They want to they want to put on competition, and I kind of stood up for them. I you know, I kind of was like, no, I'm going to give War Z a chance. I think it could be a really fun game. I started watching videos. I was like, wow, this game actually looks pretty cool. I think this could be very very uh, fun. It could be a good game. So I ended up pre-ordering it. I ended up making some videos for it to kind of hype it up. You know, I wanted to get into the alpha. I wanted to play. Um, you know, I wanted to do all this stuff. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any War Z footage um, because we're not allowed to post any War Z footage until the 31st when the beta comes out. And then again, I'll give the game another try then. But uh, this is going to be my honest opinion so far of it. Uh, what I think is going on. And um, I've, I've kind of seen some videos recently that kind of back up this uh, this opinion that I have. So um, again, this is my opinion, and I'm not saying that what I'm going to say is 100% fact, because I could be wrong, uh, but I do think that this is uh, correct. And please, leave me com some comments, uh, and let me know you know what your guys' opinion is on it, or what you guys think about it. So, here it is. Like I said, I I, um, I supported War Z from the beginning. I was like, you know what? Uh, competition is good. A monopoly is never good, because um, when you have one game that's uh, its individual kind of genre, like kind of how Daisy was, there was no game like it. Um, that was the one game that if people wanted to play a game like that, that was the one they were going to have to play. They didn't really have any, uh, you know, they didn't have any other opportunities or chances to pick a different one. So they didn't have any choices. Um, so when you add competition, both developers have to work just as hard, right? They have to work even harder because they have to, um, they have to outsell and outcreate a game, uh, from their other one. So out of their competitors. So they have to compete. With someone, and so they have to make their game better to be, to be able to compete with that, and it's an ongoing competition, much like uh, you know Apple and Windows. Apple's or Apple and Windows is always they're always competing, trying to make the better product so they can be the better company, and that's the same thing with a video game company that has a similar title. Um, so. Uh, so you know, at first I was like, competition is good. I think War Z is going to be a fun game. I'm going to give it. A tr I'm going to give it a try. And I, I saw all these videos about how War Z is a scam, and how all they're doing is taking their already created War Inc. game, pretty much modding it and selling it, and telling people that it's been in development for for years and years and years, and that no, they did not take the idea from Daisy. So originally, while that does sound pretty believable, I was like, no, I'm going to give them a chance, and I'm going to I'm going to you know respect that and play their game and, and base it off you know what I think about it. And after playing the fucking alpha, I kind of want to punch every single one of those developers right in the fucking mouth. Because I am so, so disappointed in what I played. It is terrible. It, I don't care if it's an alpha. I understand it's an alpha. But that was the biggest waste of money I have ever spent in my life. I am actually furious about buying War Z. And, you know, I made some tweets. I was, I was super, super upset about it. And you know what? This, this is my channel. I'm gonna I'm gonna say my opinion on it. You guys might not agree with me, um, but that game is complete shit. They scammed me. They did. You know, GG to that company. Whatever. They did what they needed to do. They hyped it up. They got everyone's attention. You know, they they made everyone believe that they had started um, development. If, if if they had started development years and years and years ago, or years ago, like they claim. Um, then why is it just basically like a mod of their previous game, War Inc.? Why? 
Why is it like that? And then there's even there's even facts. There's even uh, you know complete. 100% facts that have come out saying uh, that after the success of Daisy, they actually took a crew from the, uh, of the War Inc. developers and and made them work on War Z. And that was actually uh, that was actually said by a former employee or an employee currently of of uh, those developers. Um, I don't know actually the company's name, but that is uh, that's ridiculous to me. That makes me so fucking furious. The fact that they're trying to capitalize on DayZ's success and basically just get all those pre-orders, just build her and hype their game up so much. Maybe they even paid out of pocket for you know specific advertising and all this stuff, and uh, try to make it sound so good. And then they they just put out a shitty, shitty skin of another shitty game. War Inc was terrible, and it's just it's so frustrating. Um, there's even audio that I listened to this morning. I'm making this video at like 5.30 a.m. and I was watching some War Z scam videos. And I came across one that um, showed some, or it had audio from a developer that works for uh, War Z, or that works on War Z. And he's playing in a public server, and he's using his admin powers to spawn in items for his friends. And he's talking about how if a bandit kills him, he's gonna put God mode on and fuck the bandit up for playing the game. Wow, you're gonna so you're gonna make a game. You're gonna be the developer on this game. You're gonna go into the game, and when someone tries to kill you because wait, that's a part of the game. You're going to put God mode on because you're an admin and you can do that, and you're gonna spawn shit for your friends. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, that's the whole reason people are wanted to give War Z a chance, because, oh wow, here's Daisy, where people can script in weapons and have god mode every fucking four seconds, and you're gonna, you're gonna work on a competitive game, or, you know, on a competing game, and try to support it, and try to get people to play your game, because, oh hey, here's Daisy over here, but look, here's War Z, I'm working on War Z, we don't have hackers, we don't have people who are gonna spawn in weapons, you guys can come over here and have a fair fight every time you get on, but you're gonna be a fucking developer and do that? Are you joking me? You have to be fucking have to retarded. I don't I don't understand what is going on in that man's head, but it honestly pisses me off to the point where I wish I could take I I, I wish I could I, I I don't even know. I want my money back to be completely honest with you. I wish that someone would refund me my $50 for the worst game I have ever purchased in my entire life. You know what game I purchased last week that I'm more excited about than Z? The new Sherlock Holmes game for PC, where it's a point-and-click little mystery sh I don't even know. I played it for like 12 minutes, and I quit. But it was still better than War Z. Oh, I'm going to spawn in a War Z, die in the first five seconds because I hit some zombie with a fucking weapon like 90,000 times. But apparently that weapon has no damage because, well, uh, you don't know that. But the game's so fucking shitty, uh, you die by a zombie in two hits. Um, you can't swim. Is this 2001? Am I playing on the fucking PlayStation? No. I can't swim? Kill me. I, I, I'm just ranting now. But really, I am, I'm very irritated. War Z is not a good game. If you want my opinion on it, don't buy it. Don't waste your money. Don't support developers that are like this. Um, because I'm not going to play the game. Uh, or I'm not going to make any videos for it, at least. I, I'm going to... I'm going to probably play the beta just to see if they actually do anything to actually what like you know what they say they're gonna do uh but i'm not making any videos for war z this is my only this is my first and or i guess it's not my first but it is my last war z video and i will not support them i will be playing the daisy standalone and you can have any opinion you want on it let me know in the comment section down below you can hate me you can love me you can be neutral because uh that's fine too you know there's always a a neutral point you could just not care about the matter uh because i didn't but now that I've, I've seen all these videos and I've seen the truth, it's just really, really, really uh, pissed me off. So anyways, that was my rant. Uh, I think War Z is a scam, and I think you should save your money, and you should wait to buy a better game. And do not support a company uh, that has uh, pretty much just been scamming everyone from the start. So uh, anyways, you guys are the best. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, you can dislike it. You know, your opinion does matter. And uh, I've been Gold Glove. You guys have been my awesome viewers. And I'll catch you guys later.